Hi, this is Vicky and welcome to my channel. In continuation to the new questions video series, we have another set of questions. Let us learn them in detail. We'll start the film and try to understand the situation. If you want, you can watch the film again, but for now, we'll go to the question. If you switch to the question, you cannot see the film again. Click yes and continue to the question. What is the correct course of action in this situation? I remain behind the cyclist. Yes, we must stay behind the cyclist even if there is no oncoming traffic. Because, you see, there is a solid line between the road. Crossing the solid line is always forbidden. If we try to overtake, we would definitely cross the solid line which is prohibited. I overtake the cyclist with a sufficient amount of side clearance. No. We cannot overtake the cyclist because there is a solid line which separates the lane from oncoming traffic. We are not allowed to cross the solid line and crossing the solid line is forbidden. I have to allow the pedestrian to cross the road. No. Pedestrian waiting to cross the road has to wait because he is neither waiting at a traffic light nor at a zebra crossing. So we can drive past but we must remain behind the cyclist. Move on to the next question. We'll start the film and try to understand the situation. If you want, you can watch the film again, but for now, We'll go to the question. If you switch to the question, you cannot see the film again. Click yes and continue to the question. What is the correct course of action in this situation? I may overtake the vehicles driving in the right hand lane. Yes. We are allowed to overtake the vehicles driving in the right hand lane and then as per the signboard, we have to change the lane which is about 200 meters. I move into the right hand lane now. No. We cannot change to the right hand lane now because you see there is a car on our right hand side. If we move into the right hand lane now, we would collide with the green car driving on the right. So we are not allowed to move on to the right hand lane now. I move over to the right hand lane after around 200 meters. Yes, we are allowed to continue driving on the same lane and allowed to overtake vehicles on the right. Then after around 200 meters as per the signboard, we have to move over to the right hand lane. Move on to the next question. We'll start the film and try to understand the situation. If you want, you can watch the film again, but for now, we'll go to the question. If you switch to the question, you cannot see the film again. Click yes and continue to the question. What is the right course of action now? I take the turn ahead of the electric scooter? No. Electric scooter in front coming from the opposite direction has right of way here. 
because in this situation we want to take a right turn. As we want to turn right, we have an obligation to wait and allow other road users to cross the lane. In this case, the electric scooter. So we have to wait and we are not going to take the turn ahead of the electric scooter. Also, if you observe carefully, we have a cyclist on the right who is willing to cross the lane. So in this situation, if we turn right, we would collide with the cyclist. So we must wait. I allow the cyclist to pass through. Yes, we just discussed as we want to turn right, we have an obligation to wait and allow other road users to cross the lane first. Hence, we have to wait and allow the cyclist to drive first. I have a detailed video on this topic. We'll leave a link in the description below. I glance over my right shoulder. Yes. Before making a turn, we must always look over our shoulder to see possible pedestrians or other road users coming from behind. In this situation, we have to look over our shoulder on the right to judge the distance to the cyclist. Here, we should stop and allow the cyclist to pass through. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Happy learning!